What's up, Trekkies? Hi, um, <laughs> it's a little stupid because there's really not any news. Checking Xbox One here, and there, most everything was posted as of June 6th. So, long time ago. So you guys are probably gonna have some stuff posted tomorrow. But then again, this was the Victory is Life wallpaper. So it's like, uh, and then also June 6th, last week you guys had a upgrade weekend. I'm behind on the times here for that stuff. I feel like I should switch the day. PlayStation 4, you guys have nothing extra. I know sometimes there's sales different per console. You guys are working on Renegades week four? Do you guys reset on Thursday now? No, they just put out information on Wednesday. But week three was the final rewards. Uh, th that draconian ceremonial pole arm. I've never used it. I don't care about using melee weapons. In terms of stuff, oh. Just posted, one minute ago. Phoenix Price Pack is returning. From Thursday, I'm on Xbox One. This is most likely for PS4 also. Yep, came out there too. So from Thursday all the way, so for a week, every day you guys can go to basically Drozana uh, and pick up a free Phoenix Price Pack. Phoenix Price Pack, just to refresh you, gives you a token. This token opens up a store, and based on the level of token that it is, all the way from like uncommon to super epic, rare, legendary, gold, green, whatever color that is. And these are for ships and uh, things that are no longer available, such as like previous event ships and consoles that came out with like launch events. Like the red matter capacitor, I think is on there. The thing that I mainly use this for is taking whatever comp, whatever token I get, converting that and buying the two down, taking those two, buying the next ones down, taking those, buying the next one down, and going all the way down to the uncommon and buying Phoenix upgrade stuff. You guys already went through an upgrade weekend. Sucks. Good thing to hold on to though. However, there is like rest, rest, dreadnought cruisers. Sarnthalm Carrier, if you're really into Breen stuff. Kobali Samsar Cruiser, that's for the epic. Um, Jemadar Attack Ship, Chogret Warship, Pleshbrek Heavy Raider, Rising Corvette, Rising Luxury Cruiser, and the Voth Bulwark Dreadnought Cruiser. Those are all tier five from the ultra rare. Very rare, there it is, Red Master Capacitor. A uh, few other things, Mirror Universe Agony Field Rifle. Stuff from events. Uncommon has a bunch of Weird tribbles you can't really get anymore. Phoenix shuttle vanity pad, and just all that stuff. A lot of emotes are in there, but like I said, I just get the. It was actually listed on here though. Oh, there it is. Special Phoenix tech upgrades come from the uncommon thing. You get like maybe one for one. That's still a lot, especially if you get like a very rare. And then you trade that for two rares, which then turns into four uncommons, which then turns into four upgrades. Like if you. Ha, you know, and then I get, we'll just go with this. Epic down to two ultra rare, down to four very rare, down to eight rare, down to 16 uncommon, which even one for one, that's a lot of upgrades. And they're free. No dilithium cost, at least. So that's the benefit I use those for. So you guys have that coming in. Uh, really, all we got right now is a fond farewell to sh something. Shield of Tomorrow. We just had a content release, so there's not really much of anything. I had like four days of restarts that's fun told you guys it was coming though I'm tired of watching people complain on forums that are like why is this game shut down why is this so bad i'm like seriously stop like i literally that day on my fleet told people chill for like a week you'll be good but anyways so starting tomorrow the sally ride which is an intrepid class science vessel intrepid vessel because they're science Basically Voyager if you don't know that stuff. We'll be hanging out in sector space in Star Trek Online somewhere uh, Apparently this web Episode thing has been has stopped. I don't think it would be canceled if it's put on by the people, but it just like So it says the crew of the Sally ride Will be somewhere in sector space and they're not going to tell you where because that would spoil 
the episodes that are left this season. But if you can find her, you might get a chance to chat with one of the crew. I don't know. This is literally the first I'm hearing of it, but apparently it's a big deal. I mean, I play a game, and oddly enough, it's kind of hard to be around Trekkies for me. So, that's that in and of itself. But yeah, it'll be spoilers for the episodes which are left in the season. But if you can find her, and then there's an Admiralty ship. It's a five-star rarity. So, epic. Plus 20 science per any ship. It's not small craft. That's official news briefs. Um, what do we got? Where's the calendar? There you are. We have an item upgrade weekend coming for PC, so benefit there. Earn 100% additional technology points when applying upgrade tech to all items this weekend. That's cool. And that's coming up for this coming weekend. The 14th through the 18th, so benefit. There's nothing else really on the calendar. Gamma recruit stuff. I don't know. Doesn't actually say here when what's its bucket will be starting up. But oh, well, July has a hearts and minds if you guys care. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> so I mean I've rolled my little <coughs> Gemadar guy. I've been going through the missions. Doing what I need to do. Trying to get all the Gamma Recruit stuff done, because apparently on your main, you can get, like, another... Was it crafting? No, it's an uh, Admiralty slot if you get your guy, your pers your Gemadar character, up to level 10 in three of them? I mean, you, I mean, you gotta grind it out. I mean, I like the fact that the Gamma Quadrant is, you know... Fairly big, it's 20 sector blocks. I like the fact that, you know, previously with the Zen Kathy, there were a bunch of your uh, high end DPSers and strat guys that are like, oh my god, you guys need to stop with the gravity wells, it's making the Zen Kathy more powerful. You need to move the tractor beam or pulsers, move them apart. And I'm like, whatever, I don't care. So now people are like, oh my god, we need to have gravity wells to bring them hurt, bring the hurt closer together and AoE them down. I'm like, what? <laughs> But, you know, that's just how it goes. The strat necessary, and people complain all the time. They, they try to figure out the absolute optimal strat, and I was like, play your playstyle. I dealt enough with the Zen Kethi, and I blew the crap out of them on advanced difficulty cues with gravity wells. And the reason why it sucked with the Zen Kethi is because they got shield hardness the closer they were with each other. Well, guess what? I drain the living crap out of shields. They don't have shield hardness if they don't have shields. You know? So, that's that. I will... Okay, there's just not much news. I don't know when Rise is coming out. I wish I knew when that was coming out. Nothing new for console, and, like, there wasn't anything. It's just a really dead week. Yep. So, so I gotta say, the, the Sector Battle Zone, at least on PC, and hopefully it won't be that way on regular, it's annoying because everyone does the red then they do the green, but the green slowly moves up, but barely anybody does blue. I understand, blue is a timed one, because you have to get these three bars all the way up to the top, and then the sec, and the thing. The problem is, people are like, goofy, and they don't know how to strat. Like, you have to destroy the Herc swarms around the cocoon ship and because they will get in the way you also have to make sure that you kill things around the ships you know like the collectors so they don't take your asteroids away from you and you have to have like two or three people constantly bombarding the ship because it's got x number of hull and it's like hello but they don't do it they try to afk this stuff and it just doesn't work very well that's all i've got really uh, the missions are great. Kira has a great line. I would say it would be more of a Jadzia Dax line, but, you know, she... <coughs> Spoilers! Um, Ezri's a little too wimpy for that kind of line. But, yeah, I will chat with you guys next week. See what information we have, if anything, about with um, Rise of Summer event, a ship or something. I, got, I don't know when it's supposed to start, so I will catch you guys next week. Bye!